Hello, Francis Hal North. This video will help guide you on the courses you should be taking next year. I'm gonna be talking to you through all the courses we have to offer in the mathematics department, starting first with Algebra 1. Algebra 1, most students take this course in the middle school or as a freshman in high school. After you have passed Algebra 1 with a D or higher, you are moving on to Geometry. We offer regular geometry and honors geometry. Our honors geometry course is a weighted course so make sure before you sign up, you talk to your teacher to see if that's the best choice for you. After you pass geometry with a D or higher, you're moving on to Algebra 2. Algebra 2 is offered in a regular course as well as an honors course. That honors course is weighted. Before you sign up for that honors course, please go ahead and talk to your teacher before you sign up. After Algebra 2, there are so many options you can pick from. Most of these upper level classes will be offered as a blended learning class. What's a blended learning class? If you keep and maintain your grade to be at a certain percent, usually 80%, on certain days, you might be able to leave campus and work elsewhere or work in the learning commons. So when you go to sign up for these upper level courses, ask to see if blended learning is available. First course we're gonna talk about is Algebra 3. In Algebra 3, it is best suited for students that are hoping to get a head start on their college education. This is a great way to get a more solid understanding of concepts taught in regular Algebra 2. Students who take this class can earn college credit through Missouri Baptist. Next up is Intro to Statistics. This course is fairly new to North and is a semester long. The course can be taken alongside Algebra 3, Pre-Calculus, and Calculus. This course is a great way to see math in a different light. This course has projects that are done throughout the well year as well as hands-on activities. Next up is Discrete Math. This is a semester long course as well. This is usually paired up with Intro to Statistics. This math course can be taken alongside with Algebra 3, Pre-Calculus, and Calculus. Discrete Math is a project-based course where every unit there's a project alongside with it. For example, Chapter 1, we talk about number systems. We talk about how the differences and similarities between the Mayans, the Chinese, and the Babylonians. And then the project is we create our own number system. Another course you can take is AP Statistics. AP Statistics is a hands-on course that allows students to have a deeper understanding of statistics and to see where theorems and rules come from. This is done by doing experiments in class, taking surveys, or working through real life situations. AP credit can be earned for this course. This course can be taken alongside Honors Algebra 2, Algebra 3, Honors Pre-Calc, and Calc. The next on the list is Honors Pre-Calc. This course usually is taken after students have completed Honors Algebra 2, AP Statistics, or Algebra 3. This course starts fine-tuning your Algebra 2 skills and starts introducing you to calculus material. Students who take this course are looking towards a career field that is heavier in math. Last up is AP Calculus, AB, and BC. Students who have successfully completed Honors Pre-Calc can enroll in this course. Students who sign up for this course can pick between AB Calculus and BC Calculus. AB Calculus is Calculus 1 for the entire year, where BC Calculus has the first semester as Calc 1 and second semester as Calc 2. Students will be able to pick between taking the AP exam or getting college credit through UMSL. Regardless, if you're going to a trade school, community college, or a four-year college, there is a math course for you. Stop by your math teacher's room to get any questions you might have regarding of what course would be right for you. Have a great day, North.